here why you wanted to start a business. We're going to run some microphones. If you want to, uh, to answer that question, please stand up, and uh, we'll give you the mic. What I want from you is that the answer in English, short sentence, bottom line, uh, without long stories. If something that you wanted to say just was said before you, please give the microphone to somebody else. There is no need to repeat that. We're looking for the different reason wh reasons why you wanted to start a business. When I'm looking for bottom line, I means that I don't want to hear somebody standing, you know, when my mother was young, you know, she has really difficulty in her family, and her father, his sister, was an entrepreneur, and, you know, and the whole story. Bottom line, three, four words, why did you want to start a business when you wanted to start it? I'm going to write it on the board, and uh, we just want to take as many as possible before I, we can work with that, okay? So if you want to share with us, please stand up. Microphone runners, please go make sure that you cover the whole room. And... Um, let me, sh let me see where there's a mic. Okay, we start there. To be independent. To be independent, absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, next. Uh, let's see yes. who is uh, independent. Uh, be, uh, all right, Sikhit. Race, to women. Uh, what? Race, women, energy. Cos oh. Conscious business. Okay, women. give it to me something a little bit more general. Don't, don't stay stuck on your specific thing, but what did you want to achieve then? Then support people, support women? Yeah. Okay, support. So, okay, so we'll, we'll put that under support so it will feel for every business, not just for your specific business. Yes, in the back. Uh, I have a horse rescue and I want to help horses. Help horses, okay. So we're going to drop the horses because it's not so important. We want to help. Okay, so you wanted to help. It just covers all of you that wants to help horses, goats, chickens, dogs, and humans. Okay, no need for any more helps. Okay, that's clear. Yes. Yes, to be uh, free in time and space. Okay. Free time, your own time, absolutely. Uh, yes, in the back. I don't know who has the mic. Somebody else? Yeah. Because I was very eigenwijs, and I know you know the word, but yeah. I don't know the English one. <laughs> Doing my own thing. Doing my own thing. Absolutely. Yes, where do we have a mic? Yes. Follow my pa passion. Absolutely. Passion. Follow my passion. We'll put it here. Yes, there. Creating your own team. My own team, own team, absolutely, thank you. Uh, yes, in the back you have, yeah. To work from out my intentions and my own values. Yeah, uh, working from my own values, absolutely, thank you. Yes, there, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to, in, to help increase people's wellness. Okay, we have help already, thank you, yes. To bring out my own ideas. Absolutely, doing my own thing, my own ideas, it's for a different color, own. Ideas, yes, more, guys. Yeah, uh, mics, I need to see mics, mics, mics. If you don't have a mic, we'll wait with you. Yes, yes? to make the difference, to be unique and energic. Absolutely. And that everybody, uh, everything is okay, possible. Okay, 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 let's not uh, take from everybody. <laughs> Making a difference, absolutely, thank you very much. More mics, guys. Yes, in the back, black shirt. Same work, more money. All right, more money. Absolutely, yes, who else? Is in the back, 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 all the way in the corner. For black. a safer, fairer, and cleaner world. I didn't understand one word. Safe. A safer, fairer, and cleaner world. Okay, so make a better world. I'll call it. I'll put it as a little bit more uh, general, better world. Thank you. Yes. Where do we have mics? Mics, mics, mics. Yes. Green shirt or. Uh, right. What I wanted to do is uh, be an example for other people with disabilities. Where do I? Who do I talk to? Ah, sorry, you're sitting. Okay, yes, oh, helping, what did you say? Be an example that an example. even with a disability it's still possible to have your own business. Fantastic, fantastic, thank you. Being a role model, I'm gonna put it here. Role model, thank you very much. Yes, uh, there? Connecting people. All right, connecting people, put it here. Yes, guys, if it's not in your list and you think it's important, make sure you add it, yes. Uh, to work location independently. All right, my work location independently, so my place, my thing, my, mine, mine, mine. Yes, there. To share my knowledge. Absolutely, share. I'm gonna put it just share because I don't have enough space, but if you write it, it's, gr it's great. Share your knowledge, yes. More impact. More impact, absolutely, making more impact. Let's see if we can shove it here. Yes, uh, more mics. Yeah, on the back. For diversity. What does it mean? Diversity. Yeah, I, I hear the word. What does it mean? Why did you start your business? I can do more different uh, work next to Ah, to okay. So for yourself, yeah. do um, different things. Yes. Do 
different things. I think that probably it's more about being, having something interesting to do. Yeah? OK, we don't have a mic, so I cannot hear you. Yes, with the black shirt. Yeah, yeah, you, you. Yeah, yeah. I want to change the business world. All right, change the world. All right, we'll put hey, it here. Business change. world. OK, but I'm going to make it a little bit more general, OK? Because other people want to change a different part of the world. Yes. Guys, are you covering also this part? Where do we have a mic, you? Yeah? For my own personal development. Absolutely, yes. personal development. Yes. It's a big group. I'm running a lot today. Personal development. I probably can take only a couple of two. So how many has a mic? Can you show me that you have a mic? One. Do we have more mics? One, two. And here. And here. OK, guys, everybody else sit, just the people in the microphone. We'll have more chances for you. I'm, uh, but just don't have any more boards, yes? Well, flexibility. Flexibility, absolutely, thank you. We'll put the flexibility here somewhere in the middle. Flexibility. Who do we have? I want to invent th uh, things. Again? To invent things. I'm an inventor. I want yeah. to invent things. Invent. So doing my thing. OK, we have my thing. OK, great. And the last one? More fun. More fun, absolutely more fun. And somebody is insisting she's keep on screaming more time with my children. We have time. Yeah, we have time, guys. It's there. All right, cool. All right, wonderful. Thank you for all of you that, uh, that uh, shared that. Uh, probably, as you can notice, I divided the board into four parts, okay, into four quadrants, if you want. And there are different areas. All of them are fine. There's no problem with them. It's not one is better than the other, but it's good to see that all the reasons that you can figure out why you wanted to start a business or why you want to start it now are falling into one of those four quadrants. Okay, one of those four quadrants. And uh, we usually give them names just to make it easier so we don't need to know everything at the inside, but just what is the name that, or the title for the whole quadrant. So this is easy, right? Okay, this is a small one, which is kind of strange when it comes to business, that only one person from everybody mentioned the word money, but that should be one of the reasons to start a business. Okay, that should be one of the biggest reasons to start a business. I would, so the title for this is money. However, I would include in here one more type of money that no one of you mentioned, and probably most of you are not even thinking about it, but it's what we call passive income. And I will explain that. So business is the only place, almost only the only place where you can generate passive income. You cannot do that as an employee. So the only place, almost the only place to do that is in a business. So that has to be here, and that belongs to money. So this is about money. What is this about? When we're talking about being independent and free and have the freedom, the flexibility, my own time, doing the time for doing my own things, having my own team, my own ideas, my place, what would you call all this? In one word. Freedom, yeah, what else? Me. Me. Okay, somebody's saying me. I, I call it independence, or not being independent, but independence. This is for me about independence. Okay, and this is probably the reason that most of you started the business, because you wanted to do your own thing, right? For how many of you that will be a big reason for this, or was one of the biggest reasons, is to be independent, to do your own thing. So that's the majority here in Holland, okay, or here in this part of Europe. Okay, now this one, what it is about, it's about having fun, following my passion, following my own values, uh, being a role model, uh, doing different things so I have interest in my life, uh, I don't know, what, uh, personal development, how would you call all this together? What? Happiness, maybe, absolutely. Passion, absolutely. Fulfillment. Yeah, we usually call it fulfillment, but again, it doesn't really matter what name you call it. You choose for yourself. I call it fulfillment usually, and um, you can pick up another name. But fulfillment. Okay, fulfillment. Fulfillment is all about, somebody says it's all about me, right? It's about me doing my, th doing my passion, my fun, my uh, values, uh, being a role model. It's about me. So that's fulfillment. This is a different one changing the world, making the world a better place, sharing my knowledge or whatever it is that I have, supporting others, uh, making an impact, helping other people, uh, cre making a difference in the world, creating a better world. Uh, what is this, the last one? Connecting people, etc. How would you call all this? Yeah, that's contribution. That's contribution. Or giving. Yeah, that's contribution, contribution, or giving. Those are the four quadrants. Now, the reason why it is important is because you should know why you started the business. Because business is not always going to be easy. How many of you found out that somewhere along the way, a business can become tough or difficult or challenging? You already, uh, probably those people that don't raise their hands is because they don't have a business yet. Because I don't know anybody that had a business and didn't have challenges and difficulties. And one of the things that works for me the most for all the years, I had nine businesses, I have nine, yeah, created nine businesses over my, my life for 30 years in entrepreneur. 
I always found challenges along the way, but what helped me is remembering why the hell am I doing it? Now, if you just have one reason, like for example, oh, I just want to be independent, or I just want to make more money, or whatever it is, you have only one reason on one quadrant, it's not going to be enough. But if you have reasons on all the four quadrants, that will pick you up. Ah, that's why I'm doing it. So I'm trying to create a better world and make more money and be independent. Okay, now I know. Now I can pick myself up and do more. So this is important. So if you, don't, if you have one of those quadrants that for you is not relevant, I suggest that you find out a reason there. It will just help you. Okay, the idea is that you will have a list. Don't put on the list, on your list, in your notebook, something that is not relevant for you. If for you, it could, you couldn't care less about passion, then don't put it there. But if it is important, then put it for yourself, because this is my passion, or because I want to make a better world, or whatever it is. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when we ask people, and we, do that, we did it for so many years, even before the business bootcamp, with so many thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of people, we used to ask them, um, what is the priority? Which one is the most important, which is the second important, third important, fourth important, etc. Uh, and we get kind of averages. In Holland, in Holland or this part of Europe, most of the time what we get is that independence is the most important. This is what people want, the first one, first and foremost. Then they want more money or creating something with money, achieving maybe financial freedom. Then usually it comes to fulfillment. I want to live my life, I want to passion, or uh, and the last one, Usually is well, I want to make a better world. Usually, sometimes it changes a little bit. When we did it in the States, usually this was the number one, okay? And then this was the number two, and three, and four. So it's not a judgment. It's just a different set of values. All of them needs to be there for a business. The problem with most people, with most people that are sitting here, is that you are very good in some of those, and you're not so good in others. Would you agree? Okay, you already, if you have a business for a while, you already achieved some of those, but you didn't achieve all of those. That's why you're here. If you would achieve a balance in all of those, you wouldn't be here. Okay, so in my experience, and tell me if I'm wrong for you, but I'm not saying personal, but in, as an average, as a group, this part, most of you are pretty good. Okay, so you're running your own time, you're running your own hours, you're on your own place, you're, uh, you're making the decisions, you have the freedom and the independence to a certain degree. You know, it depends how many clients you have and how, how demanding are your clients, but this you have a lot more than when you were an employee. How many of you agree that this is, this is good? This is, you like it, you enjoy that in your business? Okay, that's a lot of hands, probably the majority. This is also something that it's very, very good in businesses that we're working with. People that are working with us, that coming to us, are people that are fulfilling their passion. They're doing what they like. They don't do that because they have to do that. They do it because they choose to do that, and usually they like what they're doing. How many of you love what you're doing? Wonderful. How many of you enjoy what you're doing? How many of you would... Do that if people would pay you or not pay you. Okay, it's still majority of the hands, and they don't pay you, isn't it? Okay. So this is the part that you're very good at, or you're better at. Okay, these are two, two columns. This is the part that is a little bit more challenging for most of you. How many of you, this is where your major challenge is? Okay, it's just look around, guys, when I'm doing it. I, I know that sometimes they put it on the screens, but sometimes not. It's good to see that you're not alone. Okay, and this is part that this is, I can't remember right now who I was talking in the morning, what, what was your name, but we were talking about, you know, being small and content. This is the part that most of you are there. You're, you prefer to be small and content, so working with enough people that will give you not too many hours that you can enjoy it, you can pay the bills, but this is not what you dream of right now. And this is where contribution starts to happen. And this has happened to a lot. So this is another side that is not yet too developed, this part here. Now, um, there, this part, where you're very good at, there's a name for it. Okay, there's a name for it. So if you didn't do with us Business Bootcamp, because if you did, you know what the name, but if you didn't do Business Bootcamp, what would you call something that you're independent, you're doing whatever you th want, and you do only what you like? How would you call that? It's called a hobby. It's called a hobby. The, what a hobby is? A hobby is something that you do what you like and nobody else tells you what to do because it's your thing, right? That's what you are. That's where most of you are. People come to the business bootcamp usually with a hobby. They call it a business, but it's still a hobby. Okay? A business is something which is bigger than that. A business has to include a very successful quadrant here and a very successful quadrant here, at least in my opinion, what a business is. So a business is all this, while a hobby is just this. What's the difference between a business and a hobby? No, it's not the money, it's the direction of the money. In business, money comes in, in hobby, money goes. How many of you recognize that you're in a hobby? Like it or not? All right, thank you for your honesty from those of you that are. 
Okay, this is what a hobby is. Okay, this too, just for your information, just that you see, this too, if you're, only, if you're strong only here, so you're strong in the independence and you're strong on the money, but you're not strong on the fulfillment, so you're not really enjoying it and you're not strong on contribution, this is called a lifestyle business. A lifestyle business, a business that, that provides you for your lifestyle. So your lifestyle is the money and the independence for most people. So that's a lifestyle business. That's how we call it. For those of you that are very strong in those two, okay, that's in the fulfillment and the contribution, but not strong here, what is this called? Charity. Yes, it's called a charity. Most of you are, in non -for -pro are a non-for-profit business, just not from choice. Isn't it? It takes some people some time to think about it. But you know that a lot of small entrepreneurs are treating profits like the Loch Ness Monster. They heard about it, they just never saw it. And this is something that needs to change. This is something that needs to change. A business is all this together. All this together. You have the independence, you are fulfilled because you're doing your thing, you generate enough money, and we'll talk about also this part, and you're making a difference in the world big time. Big time, not small time. Everything that we're talking about is about fulfilling your potential. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah.